Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. My name is Terry Lee and I obviously make YouTube videos sometimes. So today's video is going to be an unboxing video. My husband bought me a Kindle for my birthday which is actually today but I just can't wait to film this video. It's currently like 5 p.m. and I've been out busy and everything but I want to use my Kindle tonight. I can't wait. I have no patience when it comes to gifts so like I gotta film this in order to use my Kindle, so I'm sorry that the lighting is in the best. It's because I'm relying on artificial light since the sun is going down. <laughs> anyway, so the Kindle that I got is the Kindle Paperwhite. I think it's the 11th generation that came out last year. So I'm just gonna read all the information about this Kindle on the back of here for you guys. So this Kindle is a 6.8 display and it has an adjustable warm light. It is glare free and the screen reads like paper even in direct sunlight. So I just got the 8GB one but 8GB holds 2000 books. I, well, it took me years to read 2000 books so this is perfect. You do not need to spend the extra money to get 16GB unless you like, I'm going to read 2000 books within like a couple of years. For me it'll take me more than two years to read a thousand books, well 2000 books. So yeah, back to it. A single charge can last weeks, not hours, and it's waterproof, which is perfect for reading at the beach, in your bathtub, or just like by the pool. So yeah, that is all the information. It's just at the back here. Probably can't see that. Um, yeah, so that's all the information about this Kindle right here. So let's open it up. I've been dying to open this up all day. So I just bought mine from No Leaning, which is a New Zealand um, technology store I guess but a lot of people can purchase or do purchase them on Amazon so I recommend buying it on Amazon because that's an international site or if you're like me and you live in a different country just go to like your local technology store um, they had a sale for Mother's Day because my birthday is two days after Mother's Day so Harry bought this on the Mother's Day special so I'm just opening it up look at it it's such a cute size. I love it. So here's the Kindle. So the power button is just down here. It points to it so you know. So it was basically on this here. This is the box. And in here is a charger cord. USB cord. That is all that's in the box. A charger, this cardboard thing, and of course, the Kindle. So let's open up this paper. I just realized my window's open. Oh my gosh, you can probably hear all the traffic. Ah, let me close that. Okay, hopefully the noise isn't too bad because I've already opened up the box. Okay, anyway, so I'm gonna open up this paper now. So, it's so light this is such a perfect size to just like put in my purse when I'm going to uni going to work or traveling this is one of the reasons I really wanted a Kindle is because I have a lot of trips planned for um, the next few years and like it's just so practical to have and carry around like whereas you know just taking multiple books with you but you can just store all the books on this one device that reads like paper so that's perfect okay so let me put it on Okay, so I'm gonna choose English. So it is touchscreen. So select your region. This will change the dialect and the formatting of dates and times. I only have two options, United Kingdom and United States, but I'm in New Zealand. Uh, I'll go United States. Wait, hold on, surely there's more options. Nope. Okay, we'll go to United States. So it's just loading now. So when you turn it on, it takes you to a section where you choose your language and then you select your region. But for some reason, it only gave me two regions, United Kingdom and United States. And I'm like, okay, I just chose one. And now it's just loading. Okay, so now it takes you to a screen that says, hello, welcome to your Kindle Paperwhite 11th generation. 
You can set up easily on this device or if you have the Kindle app on your phone, you can use the app for even faster setup. So that's what it says up there and then it gives you two options, set up on this Kindle or set up with your phone. So I am using my phone to film, which is not convenient. So I might just go set up on Kindle to see what happens. I need my phone to connect to the internet because the password is on my phone. So I will be right back. Okay, so I'm back. So what I did is I got my Wi-Fi password. I logged in and it took me to two options, log in or create an account. So I already have an account, so I logged in. And then once I logged in, it gave me a code that I had to go on the Wi-Fi browser, well, internet search browser, and I had to type in amazon.com code, and then I log into my Amazon account online and then enter the code that was on here. Probably that like connects your device to your Amazon account. I hope that makes sense. So basically, yeah, they give you a code to connect your device. Um, to your Amazon account. Now I have to register my Kindle. So I'm just entering my email address and then my password. So there you have it. I'm now in the Kindle um, app. So what I have to do now is do a tour. So this online tour to help you know like I guess everything because there's like lots of different books, lots of different features. So yeah, it goes, introducing the Kindle experience. This tool will help you learn how to navigate your Kindle's features. Perfect. I actually have a sample of a book I might read on here already that I downloaded on my phone, but I literally never read on my phone. I don't like to read on my phone because my phone is a device I use for like social media and other stuff. So I'm not in a reading mode when I'm on my phone personally. I know a lot of people don't mind reading on their phone, but reading on my phone is not for me. I don't feel like I'm winding down and relaxing. So I have a sample of a book I want to read. It's called Between Shades of Grey. And there you have it. That is all set up. I might go sign up for a Kindle membership. I think if I'm right, it's like 10 USD a month and you can access free books on there. And like, yeah, apparently it's really worth it. So I recommend getting a Kindle membership and also sometimes you can get like a three month trial for free. So I'm gonna try finding one of those online because you know, I'd love to save some money. I actually have a whole bunch of Kindle accessories on the way so next week or something or when the accessories arrive I'm gonna make a Kindle accessory video as well as a like decorate my Kindle with me video so yeah if you really want to see that just keep an eye out subscribe hit that notification bell button <laughs> and then you will see um, that video yeah there you have it I hope this video was informative I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I really recommend getting a Kindle. My mom has had one for years. She loves it. I see everyone saying it's worth it. Like if you're like me and like books, you know, you'll just be having too many books around. So it's good to have a Kindle to read some books on a Kindle, especially when it comes to series. Cause like I have like right here, these are series that I've just started. And I have like the first book of two of them and it's like multiple books. So if you just read on a Kindle, it saves time, space, and money because apparently reading on your kindle is faster than reading a book as well so i'm excited to like get through books even faster now i hope this video has been helpful and it has inspired you to buy kindle because i really um encourage investing in one as you'll save money and yeah <laughs> thank you so much for watching guys i hope you enjoyed the video please don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll see you in my next video